Hey, it's Kerry. In part one, we saw the amazing lions and the black bears. In part two, you get to see the awesome jaguars and Asian elephants and African elephants. First to arrive are the jaguars. The jaguar lives in Central and South America. The largest known population exists in the Amazon rainforest. Jaguars adhere to land tenure systems much like cougars and tigers. Females establish overlapping home ranges and female offspring may inherit land from their mothers. Males establish territories twice as large as the females and overlap the ranges of several females. Both sexes mark their ranges with urine. Northern populations mate towards the end of the year, but in the tropics mating activity seems not to be restricted to a particular breeding season. The jaguar is grouped along with lions and tigers with the big or roaring cats and is the only such cat in the western hemisphere. Jaguars are swift and agile and are very good climbers. They love the water and enjoy bathing. Although active during the day, jaguars hunt mainly at night and on the ground. The elephants are arriving. The main difference between Asian and African elephants are their ears. The African elephants have much larger ears which are used to dissipate body heat. The trunk or proboscis of the elephant is one of the most versatile organs to be evolved amongst mammals. Anatomically, the trunk is a combination of the upper lip and nose. The nostrils are located at the tip. The trunk is large and powerful and also extremely dexterous, mobile and sensitive. At the end of the trunk are flap-like projections enabling it to perform amazingly delicate functions such as picking up a peanut from a flat surface or cracking something open. The Asian elephants have one such extremity and the African elephants have two. Elephants use the trunk like a hand in other ways as well. When elephants meet up, they may touch the face of the other or they will intertwine trunks. This is called a trunk shake and can be compared to a human handshake. Elephants eat by detaching grasses, leaves and fruit with the end of the trunk and then use it to place this vegetation into the mouth. The trunk is also used to collect dust or grass for spraying onto themselves and we've all seen them use their trunk for spraying water. The tusks are enlarged incised of teeth which are made of ivory. animals together. Jaguars, lions, all the different types of bears. And the elephants. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.